In The Hair Hog, Rob Denson uses the subtle browns and golds of hare's fur to mimic the colours found in small roach and bream fry. As usual, the first step is to run the tying thread on at the eye, locking that loose end in place with a few turns of thread before just trimming it off. Then take the thread and carry it down the shank in closed turns. Keep going till it reaches a position approximately opposite the barb. Next, take a piece of hare's body fur still on the skin and from it snip off a small bunch. Next, offer it up to the hook and catch it in at the bend with a few turns of thread to form the tail and simply uh, trim off any excess and secure in place. Now the body comprises black and gold UV micro straggle fritz. So snip off a length and then offer it up to the hook and catch it in place at the base of the tail. Lock it in place with a couple of turns of thread and then wind on two turns. Keep them nice and close. Then using the tying thread lock the end in place but don't remove it at this point. Just leave it hanging. Now take a second bunch of the hair's fur, prepared in exactly the same way as for the tail, then offer it up to the hook so the tips are virtually level with those of the tail, and then fix in place with two or three turns of thread. Next, apply a couple of turns of the straggle fritz to create a second section of the body, and then lock the loose end in place with thread. With the loose end of the straggle fritz now locked off with the tying thread, take the scissors and trim off the waist end of the hair. Add another wing and then body section in exactly the same way as before. Repeat this process four, five or even six times depending on the size of the hook. Keep adding sections of the wing until almost the whole of the shank has been covered, at which point take the end of the straggle fritz, secure it and then Trim off the waist, then take the final pinch of hair's fur, offer it up to the hook, catch it in at the eye, make sure it sits nicely over the top of the other bunches, get that uh, soft fur out of the way, secure it, put one turn of thread on the shank so we don't cut it off and then just trim off the excess. So with the last stage of the wing in place, uh, the next step is to prepare the hackle. So this is a black hen hackle. So select a feather with good long fibers. Just uh, remove the fibers from the base before trimming the stem short. That done. Offer it up to the hook and just catch it in place at the base of the wing. Next, take hold of the hackle by its tip using a pair of hackle pliers and then wind on two or three turns, just stroking them back. Then secure the hackle tip a couple of turns of thread and then trim off the excess plus the waist end of the hackle stem. Now the final thing to add are the jungle cock cheeks. Now these are formed from a small jungle cock feather that's been split in half so take the first one, offer it up to the near side of the hook, attach it with a couple of thread turns, then take the second half and attach that to the other side of the hook. Then take the scissors, 
and trim off those waist ends. Now, simply add a three or four turn whip finish, draw it tight, and then trim off that loose end. Now, just add a small drop of clear varnish to the head. And that's it complete, Rob Denson's Hair Hog.